It's one of the most significant mysteries in modern medicine, and it's gripping scientists and spurring research that's unfolding in real time. You ready? Why vector vaccines like AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson have resulted in extremely rare cases of blood clotting. The key may be how these shots enter the body on a cellular level and teach it to recognize the virus that causes COVID-19. German researchers theorize the rare events could be the result of vector vaccines sending DNA information into the nucleus of cells and not the cell fluid. Inside the nucleus, it's converted into RNA before it leaves the cell, possibly without all of the information being transferred. Biochemistry and biomedical associate professor Matthew Miller says the findings are plausible. The cell can make some changes to the mRNA such that the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 no longer stays attached to the cell that's making it, but instead gets secreted um, into the bloodstream, for example. <laughs> Thromboembolic events associated with the vaccines led to numerous reviews by drug regulators. All found the vaccines to be safe. Still, people became fearful of the rare side effects. What the authors of this study propose doesn't really explain why these rare people experience this outcome and not everyone. The vaccine manufacturers are investigating the causes of the rare blood clotting events, while the German research, which has not been peer reviewed, doesn't provide all of the answers. It's a start, says Jonathan Ball. If you can tweak the sequence of the gene that you've delivered into the nucleus, it might be possible to stop that processing from happening and therefore potentially prevent those um, altered gene products, those altered proteins from being produced. More work is still needed, but these findings could lead to improvements with this current generation of vaccines, as well as future shots. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Crystal Gamancing, Global News, London.